So we're back for another VGC guide, and this time we're looking at Iron Hands. This is unequivocally the best Pokemon in the format. It's not even close. This thing has ridiculous bulk, while still being amazingly offensive. Like, it's quite ridiculous. The bulk matches Snorlax. Like, it's within, like, a couple of points difference from Snorlax. And Snorlax has got to be one of the bulkiest Pokemon there is. So the fact that it matches that, and can do a very similar thing as Snorlax, of what that wants to do previously in Belly Drum, is very, very good. But the thing that this has over Snorlax is that it gets recovery while Okoing things at plus six with Drain Punch. So it's going to be quite ridiculous to knock this thing out. The bulk is incredible. Like, this is just maximizing the bulk. Like, if you're going for the belly drum, you don't need any kind of offensive investments. Just maximize your bulk so that you don't get KO'd. Because your plus, plus, plus six? Plus six drain punch is going to KO most things. So you don't really need any kind of attack investment. Uh, you got the drain punch, the thunder punch. If you're going with the belly drum sets, like I said, you don't need close combats. You don't need wild charge. These will be good enough to be able to make use of it. And even without the belly drum, they'll still do good, do good, do good chip damage. The drain punch will be able to still recover you. Even if you're not able to belly drum, the fact that you've got Citrus Berry to add another, what's that going to be, 65, yeah, so you effectively have 325 HP with the Citrus Berry. Now, now that's starting to rival Blissey and Chansey. So yeah, it's, it's bulk is stupid. At least it has no ability, technically, because you won't see Electric Terrain. You'll like pretty much never see Electric Terrain. You will see uh, like the Booster Energy though, because Booster Energy in Trick Room is going to be very good. Like the reason you should be using Booster Energy Iron Hands is because you've got a Trick Room team, you're trying to just sweep in Trick Room. Therefore, like you may have a turn to Belly Drum and, and set up the thoughts of Iron Hands or Swords Dance or whatever it is. But in, trick, in hard Trick Room teams, you want to win in those four turns. And using a turn to set up, usually not optimal. So Booster Energy allows you to just OCO things immediately. So then you just got Max Attack, um, dumped Special Defense just to equalize with the HP, so it's um, half the HP. And yeah, it's, it's just going to be supposed to do damage here. Close combat and wild charge over drain punch, wild charge. Uh, no, close combat and wild charge over drain punch and thunder punch because you want to be doing the most amount of damage possible. Heavy slam is good coverage and you can terra steel to make that even stronger because this is a very heavy boy. So heavy slam is going to be 120 against a lot of things. You could very easily just go with one of the stabs as well, fighting or electric so that you get the extra damage outputs. Like I said, this is supposed to oko things in trick room immediately and it still can. Like, this doesn't have to be used on a Trick Room team. I just highly recommend that this set would be used on a Trick Room team. Because there's so many other things for Iron Hands to do. Like, I think this might, might be the first one I fill up all six slots with Iron Hands recommendations. The fact that it's so bulky, and you can stack that with Assault Vest, is also quite ridiculous. This survives a Life Orb expanding force in Psychic Terrain from an Armor Rouge. That's ridiculous. That's a super effective hit. That should never KO with something that's a super effective hit. And yet, this will survive that. And then you'll be able to have amazing offensive capability as well against 209 that's quite strong indeed uh drain punch the thunder punch again consistency not getting recall not dropping your defenses heavy slam is still very good coverage so highly recommend that on the assault vest set uh so yeah you're going to be able to sponge a lot of hits recover back with the drain punches you'll be sorted uh, i'll mention the speed as well like this speed like just with four still under speeds min speed armor rouge just so going for a speed creep war with Iron Hands, it's going to be interesting. It's going to happen. But as soon as you play into the Speed Creep War, as in I want to fake out first, you no longer under Speed Armor Rouge. And then that becomes potentially awkward. Like, it'll be team dependent whether that's an issue. But just know that if you do opt into the Speed Creep War of Iron Hands, you immediately lose out on under Speeding Armor Rouge. So then it, like, well, this Assault Vest set can survive the Expanding Force. But being able to underspeed might be nice and worth considering. But Speed Creep War definitely will happen as well. Uh, these are This is not a recommended moveset on the, on the Assault Vest. This is just other moves that could be good on Iron Hands uh, over one of these moves. Definitely have Fake Out. Like, absolutely have Fake Out. And then change Close Combat to Drain Punch. Wild Charge to Thunder Punch if you really need the extra damage. And also Volt Switch will fit very well in the Assault Vest as well. Especially if you um, don't play into the Speed Creep War. Like, I would recommend if you have Volt Switch be like no speed or neutral speed because you want that slow vault switch. You want the slow pivot. Iron Hands is so bulky, it will take the hits, then it will switch out and something fresh can come in after Iron Hands has sponged it all. So then you want the slower vault switch so that can be the case. Um, and then Ice Punch will just give you the electric and ice coverage as well as fighting. So then you've got literally perfect coverage. I, again, if there's something that resists fighting electric and ice, 
let me know because I can't think of anything. But um, yeah, that's also very good coverage over Heavy Slam. I would have Ice Punch over Heavy Slam rather than one of these. But yeah, very, very good moves to be able to have. I put Grass as the terror typing on most of these because um, it will make you immune to spores, which could slow you down from the Amoongus, especially because you don't hit Amoongus super effectively with either of your stabs. So being able to ignore it may means that that's not an issue because then you just always attack the partner. You're immune to the spores, you're immune to the rage powders. So yeah, Terra Grass is going to be quite nice. It's not the gr best defensively. Like it's good for electric, but the main thing would be to ignore Amoongus as well. Um, I said about the Terra on this one. So here, the Terra I recommend is Fairy. This is if you are struggling with Don Dozo. Because you can still do exactly what High Dragons have been doing. And you can go for Focus Energy with the Scope Lens or the Razor Claw. You get 100% critical hits. And now Wild Charge with this investment is a KO on Dondozo. With the critical hit through the defense boosts. So then, yeah, that's going to be quite nice indeed. Uh, I would still recommend Drain Punch over Close Combat on the Focus Energy set. Because <clears throat> you'll still be quite hard to KO with the Drain Punch. You'll be doing a lot of damage for a lot of recovery. So that would be quite nice. And yeah, Fairy is because... This is a Dondozo counter, specifically. It's still good. It doesn't have to be a Dondozo counter. It's still a good set. But because it's a Dondozo counter, I recommend Fairy as the Terra typing, purely because of that reason. Uh, and then finally, this seems like a funky one. It's got very good defense. Like, 140 attack is brilliant. 180 is very reasonable defense. The fact that you'll be so bulky and not be able to be KO'd in the slightest with Body Press Iron Defense, it gets Iron Defense, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be able to make use of that as well, and you'll be able to do some very, very nice damage with your body presses, while just literally not being able to be KO'd in the slightest. So, I wouldn't be surprised if this set does appear at some point, because of the incredible bulk that Iron Hands will have. You just get Thunder Punch as your coverage, like, why not? You'll hit Flying Types and all that, and it's still the stab boost, so... Yeah, it's this this set could be viable as well. I'd probably see, like, well, I expect to see all of these other ones instead, but this definitely has a place. Bit like you just need to justify all like having that over all of these when you could just have a Garganacle or whatever instead, but still viable. So yeah, this is just easily the best Pokemon in the format. There can literally be no debate, and if you do, you are absolutely wrong.